Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another EDC video for you. And if you watched my last pocket dump video, I had this little pouch. And it's a Logitech. I think it's a mouse, computer mouse, little case. And I had all my small EDC items stuffed in here. And it worked out good. I was, I liked how it worked out. I had everything in there. Plus I had my my wallet, my recycled firefighter's wallet in there, and that worked pretty good. But this one, it worked pretty good. Very soft. It's it's stretchy, so everything fit in there. Um, with a wallet, it was pretty thick. Well, anyways, it worked really good. I, I really liked stuffing this in my pocket. No problem. I had all my little items with me. I didn't have to like pick each thing out and put it in um you know my different pockets. I had everything in one spot. Well, I was got on Amazon. I was looking for a new little pouch, just a little one about the same size that I could put everything in. And I actually found something, and I I ordered it, and I just got it in, and um bring it over it's this little wax canvas zipper pouch from hide and drink um now i i used this today i had all this in here and i didn't have i took this off i just put put it back on so you can see how it all came so let's move this stuff over a little bit but yeah hide and drink there's a little leather tag they have, plus this little canvas swatch right here. It says 101 year warranty, something March 2020 maybe. <clears throat> approved, uh, and here it says approved March 2021. I think there's a signature right there, but hide and drink on Amazon. They have tons of different EDC pouches, um, pocket organizers, um, you know, like notebook covers, but for like field notes and such. But you read the description and it's pretty cool. So everything is handmade and it's made by local artisans in la, la antigua guatemala so everything is designed sourced manufactured by the local artisans and it you know benefits that community it's actually a whole town that's wholly dedicated to the crafting of artisan goods so if you if you look that up there's all kinds of, you know, craftsmen or um, artisans making crafts and stuff. And um, it's pretty cool. And the description for the company kind of reads, it's community-driven brand dedicated to support local community in La Antigua, Guatemala. Um, they say their wages are fair and... They emphasize, or yeah, they emphasize for profit development, entrepreneurial education, in addition to creating jobs through the manufacturing and sale of their goods. They also contribute five percent of gross profits to outstanding organizations in Guatemala. So that's pretty cool. But let's take a look at this. I'm going to take this back off. So it's out of the way, but um, for what I paid for this, I got this off Amazon for eight ninety eight, eight dollars and ninety eight cents. Plus, there was a box you could check for a ten percent off coupon. So I had a you know a couple of dollars in tax, but nice little case. It's wax canvas. Feels really nice. They got their little leather um, tag right here. 
it has YKK zipper and um yeah it's it's a really nice feeling little pouch it's not very big it's only about four and a quarter inches tall by three and three quarters inches wide and it's it's about the size of what I was using um, along with you get the pouch but it comes in this bag it has a little leather tag it's got a little leather strap there leather straps cinch straps so that's pretty that's pretty cool that can definitely be used for something um, also you get this card Antigua I think I'm pronouncing that right if I'm not somebody correct me but Antigua Guatemala little card and in the back I don't know what this is number 34 El Sol Soldado should ask my daughter she can speak Spanish good but um yeah you get that then you get this little card the stockyard exchange it actually has the the maker's name I'm not sure what that is Jacqueline or something maker origin Guatemala material origin Guatemala batch number three little card and the back it tells more about it I'm not gonna read the whole thing but you can pause and read that's kind of interesting so you know it's got a real nice presentation love it um they also make a lot of leather goods so it's not just canvas they they do a lot of leather goods and stuff seems reasonably priced and looks good quality now this is pretty good quality i like this so show you we'll stuff all this stuff in here like, minus the wallet i'm not going to stuff my wallet in here it made that one too thick but i have the micro notes my pocket pens put that back there i had the trayvax um i can't think of the name of it but the trayvax little wallet beard comb and comb it's pretty nice this was actually in my wallet i i usually keep this in my wallet that fits in there then um again i got this little stanley six foot tape measure pocket tape measure stuff that down down in that corner have my victorinox hiker that fits right next to it have red olight i3t put that down alongside and pocket pen does fit i'm assuming um but i have the narwhal narwhal co little twist pen i got these off amazon i'll try to link some of the stuff down below but that fits in there then little leatherman squirt ps4 multi-tool now I had someone comment on the other video I got two basically two multi tools that could be combined into one well yeah I can combine these into my big full-size Leatherman Wave Plus and have it on my belt like I usually do especially when I'm at work but I'm off work right now so I don't want to carry it but this has tools this doesn't have and the tools that they copy you got small screwdrivers larger screwdrivers so I think these two things complement each other good they're small they're fairly lightweight but put the squirt right there then I got 
just a doohickey, night eyes doohickey. Um, I used to have this on my keychain all the time. Just for a little pry tool. I mean, I could use this flathead screwdriver and the, the Victorinox, but I got something just to pry stuff. And that goes down in there. And that's it. Everything fits. It's pretty thin. Um, I don't know if I could actually measure the thickness. So you try to get it to a wide spot. Well, let's put it right on top of that label too. It's a little over three quarters of an inch. 0 0.888 of an inch thick. It's not bad at all. Um, like I said, it's about four and a quarter high. Yep. It's three and three quarter. Well, yeah, three and three quarters wide, four and a quarter tall. This whole setup doesn't weigh much. I carried it today in my back pocket. You know, I kind of forgot it was back there. It weighs 301.4 grams, 10.63 ounces. Now, it's not light, but it's not bad. Like I said, I carried it in my back pocket. I had no issues. And um, I did have my Leatherman Wave on my hip, plus a knife in my pocket, phone in my other pocket. And... Yeah, I had a sense of my belt a little, little tighter, but I had no issues. I went to, my file laws were working on my push mower, and yeah, I didn't pull anything out of here, but I used that Wave Plus, and plus I had a Olight i5T in my pocket, which we used. So, I think this is pretty good. I, I like this. Um, I got some dirt on it. But should be able to just wipe that off with a damp cloth. I like the wax canvas fabric here. It's pretty nice. I like I like the little pouch with all these little items that I just grab, take, drop it in the pocket, and go. If I don't grab a knife, if I don't grab a flat you know flashlight, if I don't grab a pen like my um like a pocket pen or my Fisher Space Pen or my Refine EP1 bolt action pen. I got a pen. I got a knife. I got tools. I got my tape measure. I got my comb um, and a notebook. All in a nice one neat little pack. Grab it and go. So, yeah, I think, I think this is going to work out pretty good. Now... These do come in a couple of different colors. They have a kind of kind of brown, kind of kind of this color, and it might be like natural canvas. It's more this color. So you got blue, a natural tannish color, and a brownish color. So I think they're pretty cool. I might I might get the other ones just so I can change. Change pouches, change colors, but yeah, I'm going definitely going to keep using this for quite a while. See how it fares. It seems to, stitching all seems good. Um, YKK zippers, you know, wax canvas is basically waterproof. It's definitely water resistant. I don't know what happens after a while when it wears, but. Supposedly, it's got a 101 year warranty. I don't know how you go about doing it 20 years from now. But hey, $8, around 8 bucks. I think it's a nice little pouch. Holds quite a bit. Um, I guess that's it. Just why I show you this. I went from this thing, which worked pretty good. And I'm going to keep this for future use for something. To this and I so far after one day I really like it but yeah I guess that's it um, 
you like these videos, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the chain if you haven't. We're not too far away from a thousand subscribers, and when I get a thousand subscribers, definitely doing a giveaway. I got some cool things. So I'm still waiting for at least one more thing to come. And that's that's pretty awesome. That'd be like the grand grand prize in the giveaway. But yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I guess until the next video, bye.